it almost it almost sounds like he's like some you know uh star witness to s- something some sort of something where he's like protected and yeah blah 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 or you yeah. know all that stuff maybe carol baskin killed some other random guy maybe and he was like i highly doubt the dhs would be like oh we're putting you in witness protection for you know because she killed some random dude you got 400 tigers man i feel like it would be we, something, you need to be in protective custody it would probably be something more along the lines of she's <laughs> Welcome to K Love You by episode 23, everybody. Hello out there in the K Love You by land. Hey, uh, thanks for hanging in there with us. Uh, Bottle openers threw me off. I, I feel oh, like yeah. I've never noticed it before or something. Uh, thanks for hanging in there with us. We, uh, we're having a fucking blast. We are having a fucking blast. Uh, podcasting is is our new life that's what we love to do and that's what we're doing so yeah. i'm glad you guys are hanging in there you like it and uh we we're just talking about harley davidson's and how if i get another bike i'm gonna get a street glide which is exact probably what i would get to yeah you uh, got another one because I, I mean i'm not gonna pay uh, i'm not gonna pay a fucking bajillion dollars for for a harley no and honestly I, like street glides even though they're right now they're fairly expensive they're still manageable it's still not bad yeah they're not sound like a decent unless you get the truck. cbo or something it's like thirty four thousand dollars or whatever i got a buddy who rides one of those new electric glides mm-hmm. the new new one it's pretty fucking new yeah it's a nice fucking bike and uh that's what myers has isn't it electric glide he's uh, an electric glide no i don't know I'm sure he does no he's got a street glide no he doesn't it's electric glide because it's the fucking full. It's the fucking. Uh, this it's we'll we'll confirm. I'm pretty sure it's electric glide. God, that thing turns on. It's like blows cold air at first. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I'd like to have a bagger. Uh, me too. I like nice. to have a bagger. Mm-hmm. I like to cruise eighty and not have my bike like feel like it's it's trying super hard. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, mine would be fine, but. It's just like we were just talking about going on a trip to, well, basically be about Colorado or so, which is about twelve hours from Wyoming, Austin. Colorado, somewhere in there. I don't, I don't have any bags or anything, so it'd pretty much just be me putting a, you know, clothes and whatever in a fucking backpack and strapping it to my sissy bar, <laughs> and hoping it fucking goes along for the ride, you know. Which I mean, it will, will, it'll, it's gonna hold on, but so this well, actually, that wouldn't be bad though, because it's a little like a little backrest almost. This if I put started, it up. You know, uh, this all this all started. I got a I got a good buddy lives in Northern California. Uh, Sorry, and uh, he's not there by choice. He's there because he's still in the military. But uh, we were talking <clears throat> we were talking about setting up a. Uh, he's coming home on leave this summer again, and uh, we were talking about setting up a a road trip where he starts riding one way and we start riding the other. Meet in the middle. Beneath that old Georgia pine. Uh, but we're going to take our motorcycles. So once we uh, get all the details hashed out, that'd be a cool trip to film. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Every time I. So another reason to avoid Nebraska. So is we are not going through. Every Nebraska. time I, no. I ride through Nebraska, it's like fucking. I swear to God, when I left for my, you know, when I came down here for my shit. And I went back through Nebraska. There was like tornadoes, like the whole fucking way and shit. So, and I don't want to do that on a motorcycle. No, I don't want to have to fucking deal. No, with I don't want to get nonsense. hit with a fucking tor- like torrential downpour either. No, fuck, um, that hurts. So about that life. If if we were to go through Nebraska, what I would do is I would put on every last ounce of Iowa Hawkeye gear I I own. Yeah, and I would ride my bike. In all of it, well, and every person that had a Huskers license plate, I would flip them off. You know, you—they're gonna try to run you off the road. I wouldn't make the trip back. I don't think. No, you'd be dead. No, I'm pretty sure I would be. Uh, I just give you the. But, but you know, when you love the Hawks, it's ride or die, baby. 
Yeah. Kurt Varens and his kids. <laughs> when I went to uh, Thanksgiving at uh, Ashley's family, they're down in Missouri. Yep. And they're all Nebraska fans. And it was, Are they really? And we it was the Nebraska-Iowa game. And <sighs> Well, that and not even just that. So uh, her cousin and her husband, they fucking went to Iowa State. So obviously they're they're Nebraska fans by family, but they're also Iowa State fans. So that's like a double fuck you to, so to me. You know? That's one of those situations where two negatives make one really big fuck you. Yeah, honestly, <laughs> both times. So we went to that, and they, you know, Nebraska played Iowa, and they fucking beat Iowa, and it was just like, ugh, you know. Yeah, but first also time in ten fucking years. Oh, I'll celebrate! Go but on. also, I went to her. The same cousin, you know, I went to her wedding, and uh, the I it was Iowa and Iowa State was playing, and we got to the reception, and it was on the TV, and of course, of course, of all years for Iowa State to beat Iowa, it was that year, and they mm. uh, just I didn't even go watch it just because it's all Iowa State fans over there, and they're like, yeah, bro, yeah bro, 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 fuck Iowa, bro. And I was like, oh, fuck. that sucks, yeah. I, would, I don't. I don't care I'd start that much to fucking be fucking haymakers. No, I, yeah, I don't. I don't care that much to be like, ah, fuck you guys. So the reason I care, it has nothing to do with the sports. It has everything to do with the people. Mm. So Iowa State fans, um, in my opinion, Iowa State fans are nothing but just a bunch of. How do I put this? Douchers. <laughs> if you're an Iowa State fan, please stick around. We got something for you later. It's nice, I promise. I have a bunch of friends and family that are Iowa State fans. And, you know, it's just when men go to Iowa State or boys go to Iowa State, they graduate girls. They don't, <laughs> what? you know, they just... You know, when, when men, when boys go to Iowa, they graduate as men. They go to Iowa State, they graduate as girls. It's just there's something in the water in Ames. And, you know, they just, they come out wearing skinny jeans and fucking, you know, leg warmers and. Leg warmers? Yeah. It just. What is that? Like a. You know, like the old, like the old, like fucking jazzercise aerobic <laughs> uniform with like the, the tall socks over the spandex. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, like yeah, leg yeah. warmers. Okay, the, I know. Like, yeah. Like the men, the men graduate Iowa State, and then they they come out wearing cardigans and fucking UGG boots. It's just, <laughs> they, you know, on solo season is their yeah, season. I don't, I don't understand, you know, why <laughs> or what, but and then they and then they brag about like they have this new high fluting job as like an engineer and stuff, but then you ask them, you know, how do you put a nut on a bolt, and they go. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well i kid i kid you know iowa state's a good school there's a lot of really smart people go there they got a vet uh a vet tech or a vet program yeah there's a lot of people come out of there for uh agriculture great program Which, i'm just an iowa fan and i got a lot of people i know that go to iowa state so i really like to shit yeah. on them every time Which i get my nephew camp. i do believe he wanted to go for that for a while and he's iowa you know all the way whatever yeah. but I, he would have had to go to iowa state i think to do it really that is a hard life decision right there he did that's like <laughs> that's like give up the heroin or don't <laughs> like 99% of the people are going to be like, I'm not. Nope, I'm not giving it up. I love I'm the not, heroin too much. I love the heroin. I'm not. You can't make me. You can't live my life for me. <laughs> this is my life. <laughs> Who says I'm going to die? <laughs> so, yeah, I, it is what it is. You know, Iowa State and Iowa are always going to have a rival. Uh, but for the most part, Iowa State fans are just, you know, I don't think they should be allowed to vote. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think they should be allowed to vote. <laughs> Speaking of voting, I don't think people that live in big cities should be allowed to vote. They're fucking this country. <laughs> you and your bad fucking decisions because you want to live a, above a Starbucks and a fucking 
Chips Noodle Factory. <laughs> Chips Noodle Fuck Factory. Off. Yeah. You know, try living where you got to drive 20 miles to go to the closest restaurant. Life's not as easy as <laughs> voting blue. <clears throat> So, okay, with that being said, I was going to say something too, and I totally forgot. Sorry, my my daughter was texting goodnight and stuff, so yeah, had to answer that. Yeah. I mean, you don't have to, but it <laughs> makes you a good dad that you did. Yeah. I probably I could just go get milk of cigarettes and fucking, <laughs> and I don't even drink milk or eat smoke cigarettes. Yeah, so. yeah. Hey, you know, sometimes the high road's the best road to take it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I never would. Never even crossed my mind. Uh, I was going to say something, though, and I'm just gone. <laughs> <laughs> That's just my life, you know? That's how I live my life. Brain dump. Yeah. No, I get it, dude. I do that same shit. Yeah. Uh, but what, what I what I want to talk about, though, real quick, uh, I like to, we like to give shout outs to people and companies and stuff that we think is good. Mm-hmm. Um, and hopefully at some point vice versa, they'll <clears throat> give us a shout out cause they think we're good. <laughs> so we're trying to, uh, spread the love here. But anyway, I want to talk about the road pod mic. For those of you that do any kind of streaming, any kind of, um, recording, recorded gaming, any kind of podcasting, or even if it's just audio, if you're, if, you're, if you're just like, yeah, or, or if you're like in a singing and all that shit, radio broadcasting mm-hmm. for the price, these microphones are, are fantastic. I mean, you can get into five, $700 microphones and yeah, sure. They sound absolutely fantastic. Um, but the durability, the packability, the, the sound yeah, they're, quality they're just they're solid the, they're heavy they look good i mean <clears throat> aesthetics and you're not spending 400 dollars for a mic these are no. i mean at most 100 bucks they're like 99 bucks but you i mean even like right now i think you can find on amazon for about 89 dollars. yeah dude they <clears throat> for a microphone that can take a beating and still sound quality yeah perfect take a look at them road road pod mic yep they're for you um <laughs> that's not their slogan but we made it up and then this is, yeah it sounds good you know? yeah we're either we're either gonna get positive feedback from them or we're gonna get sued one of the two highly doubt we'll get sued yeah well you never know well, i guess you know that's our luck <laughs> <laughs> well, fuck these guys fuck them <laughs> that's okay though i don't it is what it is oh uh I think I, I feel like I need like an armrest right here or something. Like I just want to put my arm like right here. You want me to build you one? Sure. If you want to build one. I'll build you one. Sure. It'll be a big pedestal with a giant silicone cock on top. <clears throat> yeah. Or, no, no just, just carve. I want to see your whittling skills and just Ooh. carve the top as a big dick. Whittle a, for you. Whittle a giant dick out of wood? Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, I mean, I guess if you want to do it, like a soap or something, that's a lot of soap. We're going to get a soap that big anyway. I want yeah. my cock to be giant. I have 15 bars of Irish spring in the closet. My wife just reminded me. Yeah, <clears throat> that's weird. Why? Why do you have that? I like I like using bar soap. Uh, I just, Why? I just haven't for a long time because... So our bathroom needs Why remodeled. Air cold? Our bathroom needs remodeled, right? Yeah. Oh. So our bathroom is kind of rough. I mean... Well, it's not that bad. It's it's pretty rough, you know. We live in, we got we got really rusty water, mm. and I treat it, but the tub and the like the tile in the shower is like uh. stained from rust. Uh, but the old school cast iron tub drain doesn't have anything in it, as mm. far as like a stopper mm-hmm. for shit going down right because it used to be the old like you flip the lever up and then your tub would fill up Mm -hmm. so what would happen was i was using bars of soap and i'd get them down so far that they'd be small enough to go down the hole and the kids would you know in the shower messing around with whatever the fuck they wanted they'd knock the bar of soap on the ground it'd wash into the hole and then it would get jammed up against the lever that plugs your thing 
And then my, you'd take a shower and my tub would just start filling up. Mm-hmm. And then it would be like two weeks before the bar of soap dissolved enough that it wasn't blocking <laughs> anything again. So I was like, no more bars of soap till I remodel the bathroom. Yeah, I can't, <clears throat> I can't do bars of soap because I, I, well, I use a scrubber or whatever. Yeah, I do too. So it's just easier, I feel like, with the liquid for one. Well, two, like the bar of soap is like you use the same bar of soap. And, uh, so Jaden will tell you that I don't shower, but I do. I mean. I, 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 for the most part, I, I shower regularly. Most of the time, I shower once a day in the morning. In the morning? And people think that's weird as fuck, but I, I would rather be clean and fresh and ready to go to start my day. Well, that's why I so You know what I mean? So I have And I'm I'm not a two I'm not a two shower yeah. a day guy. Mm-hmm. I'm no. That's that's too fucking much. Putting too many chemicals on your body, scrubbing them. It's not even just that. Like, just the like, water dries out your skin. And yeah, shit. you don't need to shower twice a day. If you're a person that showers two, three times a day, grow fucking sack of nuts. I shower twice a day. Yeah, because you're fucking a nutless pussy. Mm-hmm. Not all the time. Sometimes I'll, I'll I won't shower in the morning, but I have to shower at night at least because I get home from work and I got oil and shit on me. I got to mm-hmm. get that because I've done that before, like. In the, when I was in the Navy, mostly because I'd be so fucking tired from long ass days, and I just go and crash on my fucking bed. And yeah. then yeah. after a while, like the fucking the pillow would be like brown and shit from all the oil and stuff in my hair. Like, Whoa. so yeah, I can see that. Uh, you know, I always give I always give myself a real good like. Every day I come home from work and I scrub the fuck out of my hands. Yeah, and I clean the shit out of my hands, and my forearms when they get real bad. Days when I'm really dirty. You know, I, I come home, I jump in the shower, I clean up, whatever. But, I mean, there's times where I've showered twice a day. Don't get me wrong. I've, it's not like I've never done it. But there's also times where I'll go three, four, three, four, five days without showering, depending on what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, so I, can do, you know? I can do that fairly easy on, like, the weekends. If I'm not doing yeah. anything, if I'm going, like, if I'm coming over here for you know, like Super Bowl party or something, yeah, right? Just to hang out. <clears throat> yeah, I'll shower before I come out. But generally, if I'm just at home, I'm not doing anything. You know, getting dirty and stuff. I'm not gonna shower. No, fuck that, dude. Yeah, fuck that. Sometimes you gotta just be lazy, gross piece of shit. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's good for the body, dude. Your mm-hmm. the oils you produce are good for your skin and hair. Like getting dirty and grimy is your body's way of protecting you from the elements mm-hmm. and keeping your skin healthy and, <clears throat> and yeah, the, everyone's like oh i'm oily and gross wipe it off no mm-hmm. leave it well, let I mean, that shit soak i back mean the in. main the main reason why i have to do it at night is just because of the fucking external chemical like the oil and the fuel and yeah hydraulic fluid all that I, shit. I, I, I have to get that. i have to get that shit off me i get that sometimes <laughs> i don't give a fuck though most of the time i don't give a fuck <laughs> like i have to yeah there we go yeah, a little peace and quiet. It doesn't feel like it's blowing very warm. It's kind of cool air almost. Uh, I don't know what it is, but heater's on the fritz. Mm, is it? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> it could be though. You seem very serious. So I don't... It's probably because it dropped. It dropped a shit ton of degrees outside. The grass. Yeah. It. Uh... It got shitty, dude. I'm so sick of fucking snow. So snick, so snick, snow, snow, snick, no snick, no snick, no snick, no. Yeah, I fucking had to when I pulled in here. He's got a long driveway, and I had to fucking. I got a little two wheel drive Jeep Cherokee. By the way, don't buy that. Yeah, yeah, it sucked. Um, and there's you know snow drifts already across this fucking road. And I had just had to just gun it and hope for the best, and got through this time. We'll see how it works. You ain't getting home. out. I'll sleep here. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, you'll sleep on the couch. You know, I'll just be work- late to work because I'm going to have to go home and get clothes. <laughs> That's okay, though. Dude, uh, I'm telling you, man, when the wind blows, I'm fucked out here. It sucks. <laughs> I wish I wish the wind would blow from the south. If it blew from the south, we would be great. Never. You're never Not, getting that. No. Only time it blows from the south is when the weather starts changing and it like, gets into spring. And then yeah. we get like the warm air coming up. But I... Don't even talk about it. Don't say that word. I just, 
Spring. I want it so bad right now. Spring. I want to go do some fucking fishing with some warmer weather yeah. where I don't have to be fucking freezing. Hey, speaking of fishing, you want to go ice fishing this weekend? This weekend? Yeah, you got anything going on? Uh, I don't know. I have to, I have to check my, my Blackberry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I used to have one of those. My Outlook calendar is fucking plum full, dude. Yeah. I don't plum, know if I've plum just, full. I don't know about it. Oh hey, look! I just I've, had an opening. I would yeah, have, I would good. have to borrow a pole probably because I've I've never been ice fishing. I don't have ice fishing. I got it for you. Okay, I'll take you. Uh, so the reason I asked, I'm, my cousin, uh, my cousin Sarah's coming into town this weekend. Okay, and she's bringing her boyfriend. Mm -hmm. And she asked me, if Oh, I are we gonna beat him up? Yeah, we're gonna take him on the lake. We're gonna beat him up, take okay. all his money, and then we're gonna leave him on the lake. <laughs> That's a great weekend right there. <laughs> she asked me uh, really nicely if I could take him out ice fishing, and I said, I don't know anybody that ice fishes. So I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I think I'm taking him ice fishing. I don't even know the for sure plan yet, but it's sometime on Saturday. I'm guessing, I don't know if they're coming Friday night. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But if we're going ice fishing, I'd like to go, like, decently early on saturday morning do you have are you just gonna use tempe's castle or what no oh no i got a shack oh you do it's out there right now no oh no, i got a pop-up oh okay i got i got a sunflower head heater propane heater how thick's the ice right now oh was it this weekend take a guess take a guess wait is it this weekend right now yeah how uh take a guess I don't know, 10 inches. Wrong. What is it? It's like 15, 16. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Thick enough you can fucking... I mean, I don't fucking know. I've never never stepped foot on a fucking frozen lake. No? No. Dude, it's a cool feeling at night when you look around. Oh, I bet, yeah. yeah. Oh, but it's dark as fuck, too, huh? It's dark as fuck, and then... Uh, well, some nights, dude, when the moon's out bright, mm -hmm. lights the whole lake up. And you get like the same feeling like when you're on a boat. Yeah. But you're standing there and it's it's like it's just a weird I'm in the middle of the lake. Yeah. I'm standing here. That's weird. That'd be fun. I've always wanted to go. My 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 whole uh knowledge of ice fishing comes from grumpy old men. Yeah. And that's it. That's all I know about ice fishing. So well, I've seen them do, do it, it in that movie let's, once. Let's do it. Let's go ice fishing. Okay. Well, well double check with with the boss and see what yeah you double check and you let me know oh there was oh. something you said that you're gonna blow my mind with <laughs> that's what that's what i was gonna ask you is that is that actually what you were gonna it ask is. me okay it is so let me make sure that i i got this right before i do this the only reason i thought of that is because i was thinking about how Jaden was getting us something and for some reason that reminded me of the whole we're gonna blow your mind uh before we go there i had something else i want to talk to you about okay i was sick yeah and oh yes <clears throat> i wanted to talk about that too because you're saying well, i don't know i got these like really good genes and i just i don't get sick i just don't get sick. and literally right after that you Dude. got the sickness that i had and then after that you got this that you're about to talk about. Dude. So I thought cool. I had stage 14 food poisoning. Mm -hmm. And then it hit my wife like 30 hours later. And I was like, it's definitely not food poisoning. It's it's a sickness, something. But I, oh my God, I have not <laughs> felt like that in years mm -hmm. holy fuck dude i ate she brought me home food the other night well it was like a week ago brought mm. me home food it was sunday night last sunday night. yeah mexican mexican food yeah and i smashed that shit and it was like 15 20 minutes after i ate it i was like ooh, you know the old like i ate too much Started feeling real shitty. Okay, whatever. Went to bed. I'm sitting in bed. I'm like, just felt bloated and full as fuck. I'm like, God damn it. This sucks. Finally fell asleep. Woke up at about midnight. Mm. 
That's and, the worst. And I woke up like I was like gagging in my sleep, like getting ready to fucking let her go. And I like woke up like oh, oh, oh. I was like, got out of bed. <laughs> <laughs> and I fucking ran to the toilet. Get made it to the bathroom. Ralph my brains out. By the time I was done Ralphing, I felt a rumble. Mm. And I was sitting on the shitter. And then it was just a vicious back and forth game of fucking. Ugh, <laughs> ugh. <laughs> I'm like, very realistic dude, fart sound. Holy yeah. fuck. So then fucking got done doing that shit, right? And I went and laid back down. And I was like, it, and, and what, what fucked me up about it was <clears throat> normally when you have to puke and you feel like shit, you puke and then you feel better. Yeah. Right. I puked and I shit my brains out and I felt worse. And I was like, dude, um, this is fucked. The kids already had a two hour delay. So I knew I, I was hanging out at the house until at least like 930 to get them on the bus. I woke up in the morning and I stood up and I was just like dizzy, nauseous. I'm like fucking falling over the house. I get in the truck, take the kids to the end of the driveway, and they get on the bus. And I'm sitting in the fucking truck with like just chills. Just, Ended up getting a fever. It was fucking terrible, right? So I'm laying in bed. I texted him. Like, I'm not coming into work today. I'm fucking, this is terrible. <laughs> Dude, I got up like noonish, mid morning, noonish. And I was like, I'm going to go take a shower, see if I can, like, warm up, because I had the chills, right? So I get in the shower, and I'm fucking in the shower. I'm scrubbing, blah, 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 blah. And all of a sudden, I had this pressure hit my butthole. <laughs> <laughs> and it hit so quick and so fast that I couldn't even clench. And next thing I knew, I had the fucking brown stream going between my legs <laughs> into the drain. Dude, I shit myself oh, in the God. shower. <laughs> oh God! It was just this fierce explosion of poop, dude. And it, it was like it was like. <laughs> Can I honestly say I've never had that happen? I've never shit in the shower, dude. It hits, dude. It was like somebody shot a cannon from my guts to my asshole. <laughs> the wall protecting it was not good enough. It just. <laughs> honestly, honestly, that's like one of the worst feelings, too, because like I've, I've never shit in the shower, but I've had it hit me in the shower. Yeah. And then I've had like hop out and hop on the toilet real quick. And yeah. it's just I always feel so fucking gross because I hate shitting after I shower because I, it just makes me feel like my shower was a waste. Null and void. Yeah. And then yeah. and then not to mention, if you're hopping out of the shower like that to do it. It's you're all fuck. It's all moist and fucking warm, and you're like sliding on the toilet, and it's just, dude. Wah. Thank God I was Ugh. sick, and yeah. it was like straight liquid shits. Cause I I don't know I don't know if I would have been able to handle shitting in the shower and having to like pull it fucking oh, beat the fucker down the drain. Gross. <laughs> oh my god, that's so gross. <laughs> Yeah, it was, dude, it was straight liquid. It fucking hit me, and I was like, <laughs> That's so Next fucking Next thing nasty. I know, dude, it's... Oh, my God. I had to, like, spread my legs so my feet were... <laughs> That's so gross. Dude, yeah. Dude, hey, being sick's a motherfucker. Yeah. It got me. It got me good, dude. And the whole time, like, it wasn't a congestion thing. It wasn't, like, a... Like sinuses, cough. Well, for, yeah, that's, it was just straight guts, just nausea, and, dude. It was straight. Yeah. Well, the fact that you, I, it, you know, had I known <laughs> that it, you were feeling sick, like you know, that soon after you ate. Generally, if you're gonna get like food poisoning and stuff, it's not gonna hit you that quickly, dude. I researched it. I googled it. It's between two and ten hours for food poisoning. Food poisoning. It's that quick. Between two and ten hours, depending on what what kind of bacteria or right virus, whatever it is you ingest, it's I just two never to ten felt hours. like it. It never felt like it. That kind of shit like went through you, you know, that quickly to where it's Dude. just gonna take and effect like that. And that's why I was like, it's got to be food poisoning. Yeah, I felt like shit immediately after I ate that food. Doesn't help. It was shrimp. 
mm. shrimp enchiladas. That's oh god, I'm getting sick just thinking about that. They were so good though when I was eating them. Oh, I bet. And you know, my fat ass, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a little bit. I'm gonna scrape the pan. <laughs> All right. Well, I've been doing pretty good though. Yeah. With like eating and controlling like how much I've been eating. I, yeah. Dude, I've been eating a lot of like cleaner, healthier foods. Uh, haven't been eating out. Mm-hmm. Uh, we went to the China Buffet for lunch the other day, and that was the worst meal I've had in probably yeah. three weeks. Honestly, yeah, it didn't. And, and the best well, part is all of us ate one plate. That's it? One plate. Yeah, I like, oh, it's, I mean. Granted, my plate was, it no, wasn't, it wasn't empty. Like, it wasn't a, a, a decent, you know, it was a. It was full. It was a full plate. Yeah, I had a and full I ate plate most too, of it, but I was stuffed. Like, yeah, I couldn't normally eat it normally I could go two and a half plates, and then probably well, up and get ice cream. Honestly, you know what the trick is too. So, because we ate our plates and we sat there for a while and we talked. Yeah, that's it. That's what does it is time yeah. because usually you know military especially because you fucking yeah you know boot camp, you gotta shit, eat huh? real fucking fast and everything got a beer yeah hit me a beer yeah and uh sensuous <laughs> <laughs> and uh yeah so i mean we sat there we weren't eating fast we ate normal speed whatever and we didn't after we were done eating that plate we sat there and talked for a minute and that's when it you know caught up and settled and everything so that definitely helped too not to mention for whatever reason, it was that the food wasn't that good. Like, I, I don't know. It just wasn't hitting the same. Yeah. Like, the same shit that I usually get from that line didn't taste the same for one. And two, it was kind of cold. Dude, it was hitting. Was it? Oh, it was hitting for me. Oh, it wasn't Dude, for me. The only, the only thing that was hitting was those sugar ball bread yeah. balls because those things are fucking good. Dude, you know, the secret, the secret to that good like china buffet food mm -hmm. is i bet you they make a giant pot of like noodles right and back sure yeah and they put all the shit in and, and i bet you that little asian lady gets up there with her bare feet and is like stomping and mixing that shit up it's, i bet you that's that fucking like the, wine, i bet dude. you that's like the no secret it's not recipe. <laughs> yeah it's not i don't want to know what i don't want to know the secret between that's why it tastes so good but i guarantee it's you something don't, like it's not. It's I guarantee it's not that. Or the cook's like stirring up a bunch they of like been closed by now. The the stuffed mushrooms. He's stirring up the filling. And he's like, mm. nope. Yeah, nah. don't do that because I ate three of those fucking stuffed dude, mushrooms. Dude, I bet you. <laughs> nope. Hey, I bet you that's why that's that not. So no, nope, it's not. Nope. It's just because it was made with love. All right. Well, before you blow my mind, let's go ahead and take a little break real quick because I yeah. gotta go pee pee. Yes. In the snow, I am. I would kind of curious to see if it's died down a little bit or not. Okay. So we will return momentarily. All right, we're back, everyone. That was a quick one because it's cold and windy as fuck. Grizzly Adams did have a huge cock. <laughs> <laughs> Grizzly Adams did have a He beard. did have a big cock. He did have a big cock. Um, so this just in. This just in. This just in. I was driving in the truck, uh, picked my kids up from school the other day, and I we were on our way home. And I was doing the normal. Hey, kids, how was your day? Tell me what happened today. And the first words out of my daughter's mouth, <laughs> Justin Bieber is a loser. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And I said, finally, <laughs> finally, he is a loser. He's done. Yeah. Washed up. Has been. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. Yeah. I just wanted to get that out there so everybody knows. Justin Bieber sucks. He's over. He's through. <laughs> Ruby said so. <laughs> My daughter said so. My six-year-old daughter said he's done. Yeah. Washed up. So. So, hey. So. That is weird burp stuck in my chest. And it hurts. World, it hurts. world news. World, well. World news. Current event world news. Oh, uh, hold on. I need to get this out because this <laughs> makes me sick almost. We're, uh. Keep going. You do your thing. We're yeah. <laughs> we're gonna start doing this this uh this segment here of the podcast where we're gonna discuss a world news current event uh major topic that's happening. Oh, and we're gonna give our two cents. 
our two cents on what we think about it. Okay. Okay. So I wouldn't exactly say world news, you know. No, but you got but every, you know. I like want to say I want to say very minuscule. I want to say world news because. We're going to incorporate everything that's happening in the world. So some episodes we may touch shit that's like Argentina and their whole pot plan. Well, yeah. yeah. So which we so, can talk about that later. But yeah, but this one, this one. <clears throat> Welcome back to 2020. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So Carol Baskin. Carol fucking Baskin. Back in the news again. Says dead husband was found alive. But no one noticed. Uh, <laughs> so she's claiming that her husband is not dead at all. At all. So this is this isn't reported from anyone. This was this claimed her. by her. Yeah. So this is the one. Um, so you, there's like reports and stuff about how he's not dead, and then there's other ones that saying you know. Uh, this is all speculation and blah, blah, blah. And the family says he's dead and, you know, all this stuff. So let me go ahead and read a little bit of this. It says the Tiger King star declared that her uh, missing ex-husband, Don Lewis, was found alive in Costa Rica. But the discovery is just now going viral over a year later. Uh, during a resurfaced November 2021 interview with ITV's This Morning talk show, Baskin 61 alleged that her ex, who was declared legally dead in 2002, uh, after disappearing a few years before, was actually alive and well. Uh, however, not everyone's buying it. Like I said, you know, yeah. there's the like his family and stuff. I think were some of the people that were saying that it's not true. Yeah. Um, uh, Bask herself told the Post she was unaware that the alleged uh, revelation until of the alleged revelation until the sequel series was broadcast in November 2021. Um, blah, 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 blah. basically, uh. So can't she go to jail for like staging death if she knew that he was he was alive? Well, it, she I don't think she well she is saying that she knew he was alive. Yeah, but she also said she didn't kill him. Well, here, so it's true. <laughs> well, so let me read this. Get this. So one of the really exciting well, things that came out of Terry King 2 is that they produced a letter from Homeland Security, and it says that the special agent in charge with the FBI at Homeland Security reached out to the sheriff's detective, uh, Jorge Fernandez, uh, which means this had to have happened after 2002 because Homeland Security wasn't even around for those. Two. No, okay, that was, I don't know why I read that fucking little bit, but uh, they said my husband, Don Lewis, is alive and well in Costa Rica, she revealed. And yet, all of this drama has been made about me having something to do with his disappearance when Homeland Security has known where he is. So basically, she's saying that Homeland Security told her, you know, revealed that he's alive in Costa Rica, blah, blah, blah. And all these people, are, she's obviously seeing all the fucking memes and TikToks and all that she, shit about her killing her husband. And she's basically bl blaming the DHS for knowing about it and letting this stuff about her continue or whatever, you know. Okay. So, kill her husband, whack him, you know. <laughs> so, two things. First, so thing. we'll leave it at that with the with the news bit. First thing. If she knew that he was still alive. God damn hiccups. I'm pretty sure she can go to jail she, for knowing. That's not that's not what she is, is saying at no, all, though. No, no, no. I know. I know. Stick with me. Mm -hmm. If she knew he wasn't dead this whole time, yeah. she can go to jail for staging his death or knowing well, he was alive and not reporting that he was alive, right? Unless. Now get this. Okay. Next Tiger King series. Tiger, Tiger King 2.0. Tiger King 1. and Carol Baskin from prison. <laughs> like both of them in prison? <laughs> yeah, because he's in prison. Mm -hmm. Is he still? And if she goes to jail because she knew that her husband was in fucking Costa Rica the whole time, mm -hmm. she's going to jail. 
And then they're going to film a series where they put Joe and Carol in the cells right next to each other, and they're fucking yelling, fighting between the cells. Well, let me tell you this. They're going to be in different prisons for one. Hey, that's a good idea. I picked Male, it. Female. If you want me to uh, produce it, produce it. <laughs> He's got you, Netflix. Please give me a call. I will definitely help you. Um, so okay. My idea, don't steal it. So she didn't know. Apparently, you know, according to all this stuff, she, and she didn't, also didn't kill him. She didn't know she didn't kill him. Obviously, apparently, I guess if he's still alive, quote unquote. But uh, is she? I mean, I don't know. There's it, it'd be pretty impossible for her to get in trouble for any of this. Well, for one, two, it sounds like it almost it almost sounds like he's like some you know uh, star witness to s- something, some sort of something where he's like protected and yeah blah 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 or you yeah. know all that stuff maybe carol baskin killed some other random guy maybe and he was like i highly doubt the dhs would be like oh we're putting you in witness protection for you know because she killed some random dude you got 400 tigers man i feel like it would be we, something, you need to be in protective custody <laughs> it would probably be something more along the lines of she's smuggling drugs from china or, or something through these tigers assholes or something <laughs> so I don't so know. here's the other thing, right? Because uh-huh. he had his own plane, and he used to fly back and forth from, what was it, Jamaica or no. Bahamas or some shit? I don't even remember. What if he was involved in a giant drug smuggling ring, and he ratted out a bunch of people, and Ooh. then they put him in custody? Maybe. Protective custody. Maybe. See, we don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. Venezuela. Hey, Venezuela. So, what I want to do real quick. Okay. Oh, are you going to blow my mind yet? What? In a sec. Okay. What I want to do is I want to, I want to make my own prediction on what oh, happened you. to Carol Baskin's husband. Okay. Okay. So the day he took off in that airplane that apparently went missing and mm-hmm. he died in the crash, right? Bermuda Triangle. I think he got on the airplane. He started flying. He went to one of them Bahama Islands down there. Probably Trinidad. That's what I'm thinking. Trinidad is where he went. Okay. Went to Trinidad. Stayed low-key down there, right? Married a Trinidadian girl, (laughs) right? Okay. She was infiltrated by the Al-Qaeda, right? So then (laughs) she was using him to gain access at information about the United States. That got really hairy, so he was like, shit, I got a bail. He got on his plane, left in the middle of the night, left her sleeping in her bed, got on his plane, he left, then went from Trinidad to, let's say, uh, yeah, let's, let's say, I'm guessing probably he probably flew due west. So he went straight over. I'm guessing he landed in like Guadalajara, Guadalajara, Mexico. Guadalajara. Hung out there for a little <laughs> while, realized the cartel aren't fucking around. It's a real deal. Had a bunch of problems with that. Got on his plane again, then went down. So he went south, ended up in Venezuela, married a Pretty little Southern American girl that's got a fat old Southern butt. American girl in Venezuela. Yeah. That's not a Venezuelan, maybe. Yeah. It wouldn't be called a Southern American girl. A that's 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 like Alabama. Okay, a Southern <laughs> I'm just a saying. South American girl. Okay. A South American girl from Venezuela with a fat old butt. Uh-huh. He got her pregnant. They had a baby. He has to stick around. No more bailing. His plane's out of gas. And then he just, as he's stuck. Then the cartel who were mad at him, who are also on the side of the FBI, they're, you know, talking. They ratted him out, said he headed south. They're on his case right now, and they spotted him in Venezuela. They spotted him in Costa Rica, allegedly. Oh yeah, that's right. So <laughs> you're just, your whole story. My fucked. whole story. My <laughs> whole plan's fucked. Yeah, <laughs> I thought you said Venezuela. Yeah, maybe. I think it's just either okay, her so trying he to be bailed, relevant again. So he bailed on the kid. 
and the girl with the fat butt in Venezuela, and he went to Costa, Costa Rica, Rica. Met a Costa Rican American South Southerner who, who works for the <laughs> FBI okay, as God, a geez. spy in Costa Rica. Okay, that wouldn't be that'd probably be CIA, not fucking FBI. Either one. Okay. She infiltrated his world and is reporting back, and that's how they know he's there. Mm. It's just a matter of time before they get him. Get yeah, him brought back that's, here. I mean, that seems legit. That seems <laughs> exactly what and happened. Gonna, or, and, and then, so here's the end mm-hmm. of the story. They're okay. going to bring him back to, they're, you know, they're going to extradite him back to the United States, right? Take him through court, try him for faking his own death. He's going to go through the proceedings. They're going to find him guilty for faking his own death. And then at the end, they're going to sentence him. Mm-hmm. And his sentence, sentence is going to be, he has to live out the remainder of his days married to his ex-wife, Carol Baskin. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. That is the story of Carol Baskin and her. Uh, yeah, either that ex-husband. or <laughs> she made it up trying to be relevant again. Or uh, it actually did happen, but he's. Just like the, the, the is all this shit is just blowing smoke, and he's just I just had to get away from Carol. Like I can't I can't live with that lady. Oh, well, you see, cool kids and kittens. Meh. I can see that. I'm just gonna go live in Costa Rica yeah. and fucking hang out with fucking some Costa Rican chick. You have too many cats, you fucking weirdo. You fucking out. cat lady. <laughs> <laughs> That's more believable it was than the whole elaborate fucking FBI secret spy bullshit it was fine when the cats were small enough i could kick them and they would run away now i kick them and they'll eat me they eat they eat the fuck out of you yeah all right so So anyway current event that was it carol Carol bath husband is apparently still alive we'll try to we'll try to keep up with that because that's interesting i guess we're Um, these borders now yeah we'll get to the bottom of this one we we will find out for you (laughs) we'll do the heavy lifting (laughs) Anyway, blow my mind. I want to. I'm mind. curious to see okay. what you're going to say. Here, here we go. Right. Uh huh. My big gay sister sent me a Snapchat the other night. Okay. Right. And she said something to me in that Snapchat that not only fucked her up, but it fucked me up. And I was like, whoa, wait, hold on. I wait feel- a minute. Okay. Wait a minute. I'm definitely telling this to Brandon. <laughs> So, mm-hmm. what do boogers smell like? I'm sorry, what? What do boogers smell like? It's not a riddle. <laughs> it's not a not a joke. It's, I'm asking you, what does a booger smell like? I know what they taste like, but what? <laughs> <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> Uh, what does a booger smell like? Berries taste like schnozberries. Yeah. I would imagine they smell like the air around you because it's made up of the dirt particles and air particles that you're breathing in around you. Yeah, but and mucus. Does a booger have a smell? I don't th- no. Not I don't think so. Except there. Uh, if I don't a booger know, has, if get, a booger has okay. a smell, what does it smell like? I mean, if so, let's take this cunt. Jesus Christ. See, anyway. I told you I'm blowing your fucking mind. Yeah. So, bah. Uh, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so let's let's take this for example. We're at work. You got all that fucking dust and shit in the air. Yeah. Because, you know, you blow your nose and it comes out black most of the time. Yeah. Um, I imagine it just depends. Like if a booger from that environment is going to smell like that environment if you could smell it but can can you smell a booger have you tried no i have not technically you have because it's in your nose and you're breathing that's, in so you're smelling it so well, that's smelling. what i'm saying does a booger have its own scent what does it smell like? what does a booger smell like it doesn't have its own scent i don't think i think it's more of Along lines of whatever it's fucking made of, which but, is usually but, what you're smelling anyway around you. But, if you're breathing but, in chicken shit dust all the fucking day, your booger, if you took it out and you smelt it, it's probably going to smell like a combination of mucus and chicken shit dust. Would it? Yes, probably. Or it would have no smell at all. That didn't sound all that confident. That's what I'm saying. 
it just fuck it fucked me up. Like, hold on. Boogers are in your nose all the time. You're smelling everything around you. Mm-hmm. Which is what's but in what that booger. does an actual booger smell like? But it's, that's what's in that booger makeup is whatever is around you. But do you think if you picked one and smelled it, it would smell like everything around you, or it, it would probably just, just not? Sm- honestly, no, because you're you're. Well, think about it. Little, no, listen, about it. You listen, pick a no, booger listen, and you go. You're not going to get a whiff of that booger. You're going to get a whiff of everything that's around you. No, because li- well, sure, yeah, but it, listen, okay. So look at it this way: yeah. it's in your nose. You're breathing it. Okay, let's say this. You're sitting in a, a small room that you've been busting ass in all day, right? Yeah. Eventually, you're going to be used to that smell, so you're not going to notice it. Yeah. It's the same thing with the booger. All this this smells and shit around you, it's coming into your nose, and it's it's sitting in there. So you're smelling it constantly. So, what you're so if you were to take uh, it out uh, and then smell it, it's the exact same thing that you've been smelling for the past couple hours so what you're saying so you're used to whatever scent that it already is what you're saying is in order to get a good so i would have to smell scientific whiff of a booger you're gonna have to pick and smell somebody else's booger basically so you would have to so this is how it would have to come over here you know you would have no it's not gonna work because we're smelling the same air you would have to wake up in the morning you get those crusty nasties you fucking take them out you put them in a little fucking vial do it tomorrow Okay. At work, I'll okay. smell your boogers. And then, yeah. And then, ooh, I wonder. Yeah, let's do it. Fuck it. Let's, let's try let's it. Let's find out what boogers smell like. Do you, you bring yours. I'll bring mine. It's going to be. From my house and your house. What and if, we'll see if it smells different. Dude, and then we'll put this fucking to bed. What if we put our, our boogers in a little vial We bring them in? Smell, okay. And there's no a beaker? fucking smell. Do you have beakers? I got a beaker. I got a couple beakers. I got a shot glass. I usually, yeah, it works too. Dude, so I don't know. It just, dude, that. When she said that, it fucking hit me weird. I just was like, hold the fuck. Yeah. Hold the fuck on. What? Does a... No. Boogers don't smell. Boogers don't smell. I mean, they could. You just might not know because you're smelling them all day long. So we're just going to have to try the the theory of me smelling yours, you smelling mine. Everything has a smell, right? Uh, Not necessarily. I mean, not necessarily. For the most part. I mean, I guess. I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, everything has kind of its own little smell. <laughs> but Maybe. God, they live in your smeller. Right. You, you know? Because you're smelling the same thing all day. I don't know. I don't know either. I want you guys to pick your boogers and smell them and tell me if they smell. Have a or pick somebody else's smell and see. Hey, go to your, both. Go to your best friend and pick their booger and smell it, and let pick me know. Yours, smell it. Then have your friend next to you pick theirs, smell theirs. Yes, yeah, smell your friend's see booger. The difference. I don't know. Definitely, there definitely is a taste difference. Guaranteed. <laughs> Guaranteed, they taste different. You're so <laughs> fucking gross. <laughs> All right. Well. Now that we've got that uh, nowhere near figured out, we'll just continue on yeah. with some Urban Dictionary. Oh. oh. One of these. Got some... We're having technical difficulties with our audio, so this time we're not going to use our high-pitched voices. Yeah, for whatever reason, it likes to uh, fuck up uh, when we're laughing, and it completely cuts out our laughs, which we don't like. No. We want the laughs in there because that's what makes it funny, I feel like. We will, laughs. We'll get it figured out. We'll get it figured out here pretty soon, and then it'll make it even better. But for now, we got Urban Dictionary, and the first word of the day is Sierra Mist, and I want to know what you think it may or may not be. <sighs> Sierra Mist. Do you, okay, so do you want... I'm Okay, two things. Okay, first thing. All right, two things coming to mind right off the get-go. Sierra Mist. One, obviously, the pop. Not that. The second thing coming to mind is the Sierra Mountain Range and the morning mist, mm. like m- a haze. Also, not I that. know it's not that. So, what I'm going, mm, fuck, think dirty, think dirty. Think I would dirty. think dirty, think dirty. Sierra mist, uh, Sierra mist. 
I'm going to say when a woman is about to squirt and you ram your penis inside of her as she's squirting and it creates a high pressure fucking mess that blows out. <laughs> no, but you should make your own entry <laughs> in Urban Dictionary because that'd be good. No. So this uh, description of Sierra Mist uh, <laughs> is when a man ejaculates into the anus, male or female. <laughs> and the receiver passes gas, <laughs> causing the semen to come back out of the rectum. <laughs> so you're misting semen out into the air. <laughs> wow, that's your missing. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> Choose your poison, male or female. Don't matter. They're both gonna. Either one's gonna fart it out. They're gonna miss that shit out. Yeah, we we call them cum farts. Yeah, <laughs> it's like bum fights, but not. <laughs> The second not- word of the day, and I I definitely want you to try to guess on this one because I have uh I there's no fucking way you could even get close to guessing what it is. It's called a Greer otter. Greer uh, otter. Okay. A Greer? Greer otter. G-R-E-E-R and then otter, like the animal. Greer otter. otter. Yeah. Greer otter. Mm-hmm. Can you use that in a sense? No. <laughs> Dude, I don't even know where to start. I like otters and I don't want to like mix them with something Maybe, that's let me try extremely some, let, me, let me try some. I'll do otters I'll do the awesome. I'll do how it's used in a sentence or whatever in here and then you give me the description. Okay? <laughs> yeah, and try that. Okay, let's see. Hey. So, ready? Go. My friend was molested when a Greer otter <laughs> mounted itself on his morning wood. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> My friend was molested when the Greer Otter mounted itself on his morning wood. <laughs> so uh, now I need a description of what a Greer Otter actually is. <laughs> uh, good luck, sir. Oh my god. Oh, dude, I don't even no, I, I still don't even know. Where to start? I feel like I'm gonna be. Uh, no matter which direction I go with this, I'm gonna be wrong. Yep, yep, more than likely. Okay, just I'll just read it to you. Just hit it. I, I have no idea so what a going. Greer otter is. A uh, river otters from Greer, Arizona, that are known for raping travelers that fall asleep. <laughs> 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 oh, so random. Oh, I love Urban Dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> oh Thank god you got out of arizona <laughs> god i know dude got out of there before i got raped by a greer otter oh my god the shit people come up with oh my god i know some of it is m- the most random shit my friend was molested <laughs> by a greer otter <laughs> just mounted itself right on his morning wood oh my god yeah wow some of it is I oh my god. I saw one one time. I don't even remember what the word was or anything, but it just it literally so there's usually about I don't know 10 per page, roughly or so. This one, somebody put whatever the fucking word was and just put a bunch of random shit in there and it took up like the whole page so you know like this shit is not like moderated at all or anything. no people just be putting no. shit in there that left and right about whatever the fuck Dude, they I, want so i remember back when we first figured out like urban dictionary in high school right and it was before the schools were smart enough to figure out how to put up a like a censored content thing so mm-hmm. they they'd you'd go on it the IT guy would get a notification. He'd look at the website and then he would block it. Yeah. And then you would go, hmm, okay, e proxy server, <laughs> www.urbandictionary. And you could fuck with anything you wanted at the school computer. Yeah. See, I didn't. <clears throat> I didn't all you have had to, that. All you had to do was, <laughs> all you had to do was keep your head on a swivel. And if the librarian was walking around, you like, she'd come walking and you'd have to like switch pages to like, Microsoft Word and your yeah your report you were See, writing. I didn't have any of that when I was in school. We had those stupid Macs with the like the big bubble yep. green, and we had Oregon Trail. Yep, and that's it. So we barely had internet. <laughs> we would get on Urban Dictionary 
and I mean, this was like junior, senior year of high school, right? And we yeah. still had like the Mac, like mm-hmm. the, the, what was it? The, like the ones that had like the colored. They're like the I, uh, Macintosh. Uh, I don't even know what they're called. I can't remember what they called them, but they were like. The big bubbles. Yeah. And they were like all different Green colors. Green and blue yep. and pink. And yeah. And we had, we had those and we'd get on and we'd be sitting there on like Urban Dictionary and shit. And we would type in like people's names and we would edit like the number one, the number one, uh, descri- or description, mm-hmm. whatever we would edit it and like, say your buddy fucking Jimbo or whatever, sitting next to you, you'd be like Jimbo, a short dick having motherfucker who likes to suck cock until he gags and <laughs> pukes all over their lap. And then you'd be like, Oh dude, did you read your name on? Urban Dictionary, and then get on and read it. Well, it's funny you should say that. I so I tried looking up your last name. Nothing. Good. Not a single. Fucking that is thing. surprising because my last name is an easy fucking target. Mm, yeah. For those of you that are watching that don't know my last name by now, my last name is Dickus. Yeah. Pronounced Dickus. Looks it like is spelled. Dicks. D I C K E S. I imagine going through middle school and high school with that fucking last name. Oh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But builds, your first name builds a tough motherfucker out of a guy. Your first name, Colby, obviously. Yeah. Like the cheese. Yeah. It comes up as <laughs> a boy who likes two things. White girls and tacos. Oh, yeah. And dick. <laughs> lots and lots of dick. <laughs> so that's your first name. That's that's what I use Urban Dictionary for, you're, is just searching people's names. You're such a fuck. You are, too. You know, because cause you, you were telling me that Brandon mm-hmm. comes up as this. The greatest guy ever. Such a big with a, dick. With a big Best dick. Lover. I'm so glad I had sex with Brandon last he, night. He fucks so good, and I love Brandon, 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 Brandon. Well, I'm telling you, that's literally, go. I feel go like. Ahead, you go ahead. It, it, it's going to take, because I went to like page 10, and it was just a bunch of that. Yeah. And that's I, when I stopped. I feel that's the like, best one that I could find. I feel like you edited all of yours so I that they were edit, good. Didn't edit And then you went and you edited everyone that said Colby's. <laughs> no. Yeah, because I had that kind of time. I know you didn't edit that one, though, because you were not good enough to come up with that one. Uh, you could probably come up with that. Uh, you'd have to think really fucking hard. You'd hurt your brain thinking about it. Mm. Hurt your brain thinking about it. Yeah. <sighs> no, no, I don't. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. It's just. Brandons are awesome, I guess. Yeah. Well, patents are even better because go look at that up too. You know, it's. I just can't help it. You know, not, I don't. I don't. Cho- I don't. I didn't choose this. You can't be that awesome because you decided to be friends with a slow kid. That's exactly why I am awesome. Because <laughs> <laughs> who else is gonna do it? <laughs> <laughs> who else is gonna be my nobody? Friend? Okay. All right. So, so that's, that's we're gonna keep rolling here. Keep uh, on rolling. What I'm gonna roll into next, Brandon, is getting me a beer. I got you one. You need a beer? I do. Oh, Jesus. I can probably take a couple. Oh, okay, fine. If you would. Stay tuned. Oh, oh, he's not back? And he's there back. we go. He's I am back. Is. What's up, everybody? Sorry for that. I had to go. Uh, Sensuous me. I had to go get my my housewife a, uh, <laughs> a beer. Work wife. Work wife. My work wife. Yeah, there's yeah. a difference. You have a beautiful back pussy. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so here we go. What I'm going to get into right now is, first thing, we're going to go back and we're going to finish off this Super Bowl trivia sheet tonight. Okay. I'm going to have to find a couple more for next week. Okay. I'll have to dig them up. I'll, co- I'll come up well, with some good unless ones. Unless you do two questions tonight, two questions. There's no, I don't, right? don't want to do that. I'm going to okay. do all four of these. I'm going to get rid of these. Okay. Because I think if I read... I read ahead last week and a oh, couple no. of these. No, all we have is three left. Oh, I thought you said four. Oh, no, no, no. We do have four. No. Nope. We have three left. Okay. And Whatever, don't I don't want to get 
I don't want to try to save them, so I'm going to come up with a few for next week. Okay. But what I would like to do is talk about our predictions from last week. Oh. Okay, so. Basically, we were right on everything except for I was wrong on the Bills and Bengals. And Bengals. Yeah. I, my predictions are still on track. I picked Bengals and 49ers. In the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. That was my pick, and I picked the 49ers to top the Bengals. Mm. You picked what, Chiefs? In the Super Bowl? Yeah. No, I chose the Bills Bills. and the the Niners. You're fucked. You're out of it. No, I am half in it Mm because I chose the Bills. I chose the Niners. Half stone count. And I chose the Niners to win, I'm pretty sure. Half stone. I mean, you chose right for the winner probably, but... mm, Super Bowl, you you fucked up. Okay, redo. I'm gonna do the Chiefs and <laughs> the Niners. <laughs> Those the rules. The rules say you Chiefs can't. and Niners. Everybody, Niners win it. Rules say you can't do that. Okay, the rules you just made up. Bro. Brandon. Yep. Brandon Patton. Yes. Brandon General Patton. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Mm-hmm. First question of the night for you. Okay. What? to network broadcaster what hold on what two networks <laughs> mm-hmm. broadcasted super bowl one one Fuck. cbs nbc yeah ctv abc ctv nbc ctv CBS, C V T, whatever the fuck it was, NBC. Wrong. Fuck. Come on. Who the fuck? Who knows that? Unless you're fucking ninety. CBS and NBC. I I was a hundred percent certain NBC was one of them. Yep. CBS and NBC. I, you didn't know that? I well, knew that. You didn't know that. I, I didn't know. Didn't I didn't know, know CBS was a thing back then. <laughs> I was pretty sure NBC was. Oh, God, these last two are fucking stupid questions, but okay. we're going to roll with them. Roll with it. I hope you get one wrong, because I'm going to laugh at you. Mm-mm. They are all going to laugh at you. They're all going to laugh at you. I hope you all laugh at Brandon if he gets these two wrong, or at least one of them wrong. Next question. Which head coach mm-hmm. has the most Super Bowl wins? A. Chuck Knoll. B. Bill Belichick. Bill Belichick. Done. <laughs> Don't even read the next one. Go ahead and give me the, the answer there. Wrong. What is it? Don Shula. No, it's not. It's Bill Belichick. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> Don Shula won like one. Okay. Last question. Okay. And it's a fucking terrible question. Which mm-hmm. player has made the most Super Bowl appearances? Tom Brady. <laughs> Mike Lodish. Tom Brady. Can he play for the Packers? Adam Vinatieri. Mm-hmm. Charles Haley. Could be Adam Vinatieri. It's Tom Brady. It's Tom Brady. <laughs> God, dude. We spent so many times. Where did these up- come from? Like, who made these questions? I don't know who made them, but this this Super Bowl trivia sheet came from my mom. Well, I mean, because you're going like <laughs> the boop, the, the, the what broadcast stations, which is kind of hard, you know, for somebody our age. Like, how the fuck are we supposed to know? Yeah. And then you go to Bill Belichick and Tom. <laughs> Br- like, that is a fucking easy ass. Like, <laughs> the fucking dumb. Dude. Okay. So, over the course of this whole sheet, right? Yeah. We had one. Two. <laughs> three hard ones. Three. Four questions where the answer was surrounded by the Patriots, Tom Brady, and Bill Belichick. Mm. Well, <laughs> I mean, when you have 50 some Super Bowls and fucking Tom Brady and Bill Belichick were in a fucking quarter of them. <laughs> you know? It's hard to fucking fuck those guys, man. They're done for. Both of them. Yeah. 
we're on a new we're on a new era. It's, we're, it's about to be the Chicago Bears era. So we're <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, there is. We're we're in a building near, buddy. <laughs> we're in a building near. That's what I'm sticking to. Man, you know who you sound like? Who? A Vikings fan. <sighs> Dude, don't even. Who's the building here in the next shit. year? It's no. gonna be our year. No, we're don't be even shit on year. me like that. Vikings fans know what to expect when the playoffs come. And they choose to ignore it. <laughs> mm. uh, mm. Well, you know, it is what it is. Yeah. It'll be fun. We're having a Super Bowl party here at my house. Yeah. Uh, How many uh, RSVPs you got now? It was last I checked, it was five. Colby and Brandon of KLV Buyer are going. Colby and Brandon. Hey, we haven't seen those guys in a long time. Long, so it's been a long time. Get ready. Put your party pants on. They're going to be rip roaring, ready to go. Are we doing a podcast from from the Super Bowl party? That would be cool, but I don't think we could convince everybody to shut the fuck up. No, it would be fucking crazy. It'd loud. be too fucking loud. We'd be trying to talk, and everybody would be stupid, jaw jacking about fucking mm-hmm. you know dogs and cats being and motherfuckers. Me. Yeah, you know. Yeah, nobody cares about the weather. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I mean. It'll be fun. So, with that being said, I think that's all I got for you tonight. Yep, me too. Good, sir. I think that's all I got. Yeah. If I think of anything, I'll we'll talk about it next. I'll text week. you later. Yeah. On episode 24, 24. 24. I can't wait till we get to about a hundred, hundred episodes. What do you think we'll be? Uh, what do you think we'll be talking about at episode hundred? We'll have to do something special for 100. We should mm-hmm. do something special for 25. Mm-hmm. Do it every quarter. Yeah. 25, 50, 75, and 100. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. We'll figure something out. For sure. Uh, you guys hang with us. We will figure that out on our end. Um, We'll do something cool. We'll do something cool. Yeah. Maybe we'll do a giveaway. Give away a nice, uh, <laughs> nice bottle of whiskey or something. Yeah, you do we'll, that if y'all are whiskey drinkers. Or we won't even check IDs. We'll do some. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we can, actually. I don't think we can give a bottle of whiskey away. Actually, I don't think there's anybody would stop us. I feel like there's some legalities against that. But I don't know. Maybe we could do some. Uh, Caleb, you buy merch. Merch. Which, speaking of. Keep your eyes open because we are going to be releasing some merch here. Hopefully pretty soon. I don't want to say soon, soon, because we are still working on the uh, graphics. We're still working on the logos, the designs. Uh, We're getting everything put together. But keep your eye out because we have, we will have a full merch line coming. Uh, I can, I can definitively say in 2023. Yeah. You will see a full merch line. That for, is uh, that is one hundred percent the plan. Anyway, we should have ourselves some some a, a prototype uh, shirts here probably pretty soon. Yeah, um, you'll see them. Yeah, it'll be cool. It would be cool. You'll like them, or you won't, or you won't. If you don't, make sure you tell us. <laughs> you won't hurt our feelings. You might hurt Colby's <laughs> feelings. Mm. He's a bit of a Sally. On a lighter note, Brandon did get over his little week of PMS he had going on. Shut the fuck up. He was a little iffy to be around. All right. Well, <laughs> love y'all. We will catch you in episode 24, which is next, well, I guess two weeks, technically. I don't, I don't really know. Whatever. When, when you get it, it's episode 24. We'll see you on 24. Hey. Yeah. Again, thanks for hanging out with us. Greatly appreciate it. Keep following. For sure. Uh, Until then. Yeah. Until then. Until next time. Fuck Brandon. Fuck Colby. (laughs) Caleb, bye. 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 Go.
Cause we're chasing the butt cheeks Up and down the court All these girls have cowboy boots And carry around their pitchforks Chasing the butt cheeks Up and down the court All these girls have real nice butts And wear those Wrangler jean shorts <laughs> Oh, fuck it. Let's get out of here. Let's go, dude. Pull chocks. Pull chocks.